It was glitz and glam at this year's Met Gala. The stars definitely did not disappoint. It's prom night, it's the Oscars, it's fashion's night. I'm a girl, I love fashion. I'm so interested in seeing what everyone's wearing. It's a real spring ball and the only job you really have is to have a good time and to wear a great frock. Top designers, models and Tinseltown's finest to take on the Big Apple for fashion's biggest night. Power couples reigned supreme on the red carpet. Beyonce and Jay-Z embodied old Hollywood glamour with Mrs. Carter rocking a Givenchy frock. She really channeled um, Diana Ross back in the 70s with her veil and her deep V-neck um, dress and it just looked really amazing on her. And when she dropped her ring, he swooped in with a smooth mock proposal. And speaking of rings, there was no wedding band to be seen on Kim K's finger, but she and Kanye gave J and B a run for their money in designs by Lanvin. And Kanye wasn't the only one in coattails. The A-list upped the elegance factor this year to kick off a display of work by Charles James, America's first couturier. We felt it was very much in keeping of Charles James, the designer that we're celebrating tonight, and um, especially after last year's punk, we thought it was time to move in a different direction. Rihanna stunned in a backless Stella McCartney, while Sarah Jessica Parker was the belle of the ball in this Oscar de la Renta gown. The fashion icon was joined by several other starlets who proved black and white looks perfect on a red carpet. But fashion it girl Lupita Nyong'o may have made her first style misstep. She took a big risk with this netted Prada number that's more bead than dress. The headpiece and her hairdo, it was a lot of things going on and all together it just didn't work. Taylor Swift dazzled in pink and put rumors of a feud with Selena Gomez to rest with this over-the-top Instagram video. I know what lovers enjoy peace of mind. Not to be outdone by the ladies, the gents of stage and screen were dressed to kill in white tie. The glitzy event is a fundraiser for the Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute. Godzilla is roaring back onto the big screen and we sat down with the cast of the summer blockbuster. You're hiding something out there and it is going to send us back to the Stone Age. Godzilla is getting a 21st century action-packed reboot. Entertainment City's Brad Smith talked to stars Aaron Taylor Johnson and Elizabeth Olsen about what sets this retelling apart. Are you expecting the fans to come and sit and watch this movie and be as shocked as I was about how much different it is than what we expect? Yeah, I think, you know, the trailers give it a real sort of raw, epic um, edge to it. And, uh, but then I think, yeah, there's a lot to be seen, which means if you feel for these characters, then you'll feel the atmosphere. What I learned is that Godzilla actually represents something more than just like this monster that stomps around. Um, <laughs> and he comes back with an intention to restore nature. This central focus being a family. Godzilla is in theaters next Friday. All right, finally, a little bit of late night TV consistency. It involves one host that you can catch right here on City. Jimmy Kimmel will be bringing the laughs to late night until at least 2017. The funny man has reportedly signed on to extend his contract by two more years. The move is a change of pace from recent late night headlines with veterans like David Letterman and Craig Ferguson announcing their departures. You can catch Kimmel here on City weeknights at midnight.